COVID-19 vaccination of older children in India has started. Parents have many concerns. Should we get our child vaccinated or should we wait? Which vaccine is safe? Which vaccine children are being administered? Are these vaccines safe when younger children will be administered? What precaution to follow when children should get COVID-19 vaccines? Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Chandrakant Laharia. I'm a medical doctor and specialize in vaccines and epidemiology. In the last two years, I have been working on the COVID-19 pandemic. 3rd January 2022, Indian government started COVID-19 vaccination of 15 years to 18 years older children. These are older children or teenage children. Any child who was born or who had been born between 1st January 2005 and 31st December 2007 will be eligible for COVID-19 vaccine. The vaccination for 18 plus population was already open. Now this is a new window which had been opened for 15 to 18 years older. Age proof will be taken as a, any official document. Many parents saying that their child has a different age on the official document. So some parents were asking me, they were saying, oh, my child is born in 2008. Can I get my child vaccinated? Short answer is no. If on the record, your child is born after 1st January 2008, that child is not eligible for COVID-19 vaccine. Only those children who were born before, on or before 31st December 2007 can get COVID-19 vaccine. The second question is coming, which vaccine is being administered to the children? The answer is currently only Covaxin, an inactivated viral vaccine manufactured in India by Bharat Biotech is being administered to the children. So this is a key difference between the adults and children. While in adults, Covishield, Covaxin and Sputnik V are being administered. For children, only Covaxin has been licensed in the country. Why Covaxin only for children? Indian government say that, uh, that Covaxin is only vaccine which has been licensed for 12 to 17 years in India and also received WHO emergency use listing. And that is the reason it is being administered to the children. The other reason is that uh, Covaxin was already in the use in the adult vaccination program. Nearly 15 crore shots have been administered to uh, adult population of the Covaxin. So it is natural that it has been selected for vaccination of children also. Third and most important, the clinical trials of Covaxin in children, including two years to 17 years have been completed. Currently Covaxin has been approved for 12 to 17 years. Currently under the program, it, is be, it will be administered from 15 to 17 or 15 to 18 years older children. Which are the other vaccine licensed for uh, children 8, 12 to 17 years in India? Another vaccine which has been licensed for 12 to 17 years or 12 to 18 years in India is uh, Jicob D. It's manufactured by Jidus Cadilla. This is a DNA plasmid vaccine. This was approved for children on, children and adults on 20th August 2021. 20, However, this vaccine is not currently available. It has not been administered to adult population either. That's why it's not recommended for children also. It's not available. Some of them heard news report that uh, the vaccine which are exp have an expiry date on the vial are being administered. So please don't go by that uh, information. That's incorrect information. So what we need to remember that some of the vials of Covaxin contain expiry date which was uh, in the September 2021, October or November 2021. This is because when these vaccines, including Covishield, were originally licensed, the approved shelf life or expiry date was six months. However, since rollout of the vaccination, the technical committees and uh, laboratories have conducted potency and uh, emergent, uh, epic, potency uh, and safety assessment, and they have ex they initially extended the shelf life for vaccines up till nine months, and very recently up till one year. So, though vaccine vial may carry a date which is a earlier date, but these vaccines have been approved or shelf life has been extended to one year and that's why they are useful vaccines. They are safe, potent, effective vaccines. I also want to bring that India is not the only country which has extended the shelf life of vaccines. Even in the US, Moderna and Pfizer vaccines shelf life has been extended which were initially approved for six months and then nine months, etc. So that's a normal process. We also need to remember that vaccines usually have a shelf life of uh, use around 18 months to two years. So please don't worry about that. Many parents are saying, shall we get our child vaccinated immediately or shall we wait for some doje to be administered? I would say 
that please don't wait for anything just get your child vaccinated if your child is eligible but i also want to take this opportunity to flag or highlight to those parents who children have a pre existing health condition or comorbid conditions such as diabetic hypertensive long term treatment asthma so especially those high risk children in 15 to 18 years of age group should be vaccinated on a priority basis other healthy children can definitely wait but don't wait for any other don't wait unless there is a effective reason or a valid reason when the vaccination for younger than 15 years will be available we need to remember and this is very important point that all children 0 to 18 years have a low risk of severe disease hospitalization and death due to covid-19 omicron has not changed in that scenario so children are already at low risk of severe disease hospitalization and death adults with comorbidity and those young adults 18 to 44 years even healthier so adult in any age group has far higher risk of moderate to severe illness and death in comparison of children now let's examine within children within 0 to 18 years what we know within 0 to 18 years all children have a low risk but within that subgroup 15 to 18 years have a higher risk amongst the children and that's why the children have been prioritized for covid-19 vaccination as a first thing which are the other vaccines in the pipeline for children so there are number of vaccines which are undergoing clinical trial including janssen and janssen's uh, vaccine viral vector vaccine also the covovax is undergoing clinical trials in children so these vaccine might be available in the future covovax is a protein based vaccine recommended and approved for under emergency use authorization in india for adult population but not for children there are research going on on nasal vaccines so there are many experts who believe that nasal vaccines would be very useful for uh, children because they can also help in reducing transmission what are the side effects of vaccines in children the vaccines are given emergency use authorization or license only after thorough examination of efficacy safety data yet vaccines are not completely without any side effect there are a few side effects which are common and minor ones such as fever redness at injection site malaise lethargy which a person whether it's adult or child may feel within 6 hour to up to 48 hours of vaccination these are minor side effects if somebody has fever giving the paracetamol will subside it if somebody has malaise generalized ache eat healthy sleep, take some rest and you will be fine usually these minor side effects disappear within 48 hours without any need for medical advice however if you do think that there is a some symptom which need medical attention you can definitely consult a medical provider then there are some rare serious adverse event these happens 1 in 10 lakh 1 in 100 lakh or uh, 1 in 1 crore so they are very rare usually serious adverse events happen within 30 minutes of vaccination and that is why at the time of vaccination and soon after vaccination everyone adult and children are recommended for, uh, for recommended to wait for 30 minutes before they can leave vaccination site so in that way if an adverse event is recognized which is serious it can be medically managed so all the adverse event which are known with vaccines can be medically managed what one should do to prepare to get vaccinated so that's true for adults and kids what one need to do that don't go empty stomach eat breakfast if you are going in the morning and eat meal if you are going in the afternoon um, don't go empty stomach that's what i would emphasize and that's important which are the children who should not receive this vaccine so the only absolute contraindication is that someone who received a shot of vaccine let's say first shot of vaccine and develop severe reaction that that person should consider consult a medical provider before getting second vaccine dose otherwise everyone can get covid-19 vaccine the other contraindication could be that if child has just recovered from severe illness then you can wait for some time if child is admitted hospitalized of course need not to be vaccinated at that point of time our mild milder health condition such as cough and cold or fever are not contraindication if you want to wait it's all right but don't delay far too much because uh, a child has a mild, a mild illness that's fine so you can every almost all children can get vaccinated mild illness is not contraindication should not delay vaccination many parents are asking what is the process to get registered the children between the age of 15 to 18 years the process is very similar to what adult population individual family member or the child, older child if he or she uses internet can go on the covin platform use a mobile number you will get an otp once you are there on the main board you can fill your details 
along with the along with the date of birth uh, which will make child eligible for a uh, for a vaccination then it will be child will be registered as the next step you can book a slot either in government facility or private sector facility the vaccination is free in government facility but in the private sector facility you have to pay a small fee if due to any reason registration is not possible you can walk into a vaccination center which is doing childhood vaccination or vaccination of children in 15 to 18 years age for covid-19 uh, so registration is not mandatory you can walk in and get on site registration so other question is shall we wait for our child to get fully vaccinated before child can attend school the key point to remember is that there is no linkage i repeat there is no linkage between child's vaccination and attending school children can attend school irrespective of their vaccination status schools are not places where which will result in increased transmission so children can have, safely attend schools without vaccination if they are vaccinated don't wait for second shot as and when schools are open in your setting children can attend school why all children are not being vaccinated the short answer is as i said earlier children are at low risk of moderate to severe illness and hospitalization what need to be remembered that children develop infection at the very similar rate as adults but even after infection children do not develop moderate to severe illness at the same rate as adults so the risk of vaccinating children risk of children developing severe disease hospitalization is relatively low now vaccines prevent from severe disease and hospitalization so if the risk of severe disease hospitalization in children is low then the benefit of administering vaccine is relatively low and the risk of severe disease hospitalization decreases with the age like for example slightly higher in 18 years slightly lower in 17 16 so, so as you go up downward the risk is lower so currently only higher risk children who are uh, relatively higher risk of developing covid-19 are being vaccinated so the benefit of vaccinating all children is currently not proven however in the future it's possible that a nasal vaccines become available which can uh, if that vaccine has a role in reducing transmission i believe that that those will be considered for additional subgroup of children but uh, it's long time before all children will be vaccinated in india if children do not need vaccine why the vaccine research are conducted in the children first of all this is really a very important question if a disease or infection affect any age group it's very logical to conduct clinical trials of vaccines and other therapeutics in that age group so children do get infection but they do not develop severe disease but we also want to be prepared for the future imagine a scenario if in the future it is found that children develop severe disease due to a new emerging variant then we would not do research at that point of time we should be ready with the research and license vaccine so it's more of a preparing for the future where either a new variant emerge or a new evidence emerge so we don't have to conduct research and we can start vaccinating children but at the same time just because a vaccine a vaccine is licensed for the children does not mean all children should be vaccinated so please be uh, patient and i think uh, our technical expert in the country will take the right decision on this area i hope this video help in addressing your common concerns if you still have any question please write in the comment section thank you very much